Hey everyone, forgive me if I look a little tired. I had to be on the road at 7.30 this morning, today being Sunday, because I got to meet my friend Rachel Wade, who also does YouTube videos, who does amazing YouTube videos, and I will put her uh, channel link down below. She's a professional makeup artist, and she is the on-air makeup artist for Randy to the Rescue, the guy from Say Yes to the Dress. Anyway, the reason I'm explaining all this is because they are filming in Austin this week, and I got to go up there and hang out on the set and meet all the people and hang out with Rachel and see the set, and it was really cool. So that is why I am looking a little tired, which meant I had to be up and dressed and on the road by 7.30 on a Sunday. That's killer. So this is now mm, four, so I'm a little tired. Anyway, the point of that long and babbling uh, introduction was that it got me to thinking about traveling and I went out of town last weekend to go to a family event in Chicago and then did a little short road trip this weekend and already started to think about spring break plans and I wanted to tell you about the two most important things you need to have in your carry-on luggage whether you're a man or a woman no matter what and they are an extension cord and a power strip outlet I always have these two things in my carry-on bag and let me just tell you how wonderful it is to have them. First of all, we've all been in an airport, you have to get there two hours early and then you sit around and do nothing. So what do you do? You pull out your phone or your laptop or your iPad and you start playing. But when you do that, you drain the battery before you even get on the flight. So we all like to charge our stuff before we get on the flight, but there aren't a lot of outlets to go around or you're sitting you know, 20 feet away, well maybe not 20 feet, but you're sitting 10 feet away from the, wall, the only wall outlet. And that is where the extension cord comes in. So you don't need to be sitting right in the chair by the outlet, you can just, all you need is one, plug it in, and then I prefer to get the ones that have, um, you know, a few places for you to plug your things in. Now I am, I don't really travel by myself, I'm usually traveling with my entire family, my husband, my two boys, we all have a phone, we all have some secondary device, whether it's an iPod, an iPad, um, a notebook, something. So we all need at least two outlets to charge, which is where this comes in. So I can, um, you know, plug in the out this, and then I have my extra outlets, and I plug this thing in, and now I can plug in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight devices on this. Um, so that's just the best thing to have in the airport or wherever it is that you're traveling, especially when you have those unexpected delays and you're you're terrified as you're watching the battery power just do, 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 and you have nowhere to charge. So that takes care of that. It's also great once you get to your hotel room because let's face it, hotel rooms these days do not have 20 um, outlets for you to plug all your stuff in and I really hate it. I know this has happened to you when you have to go into the bathroom and charge some electric device in the bathroom. I don't like it. I don't want my phone sitting next to the toilet. So what's great again is this comes in handy and um, I've even used this a few times and then everybody has a place to plug their stuff in and everyone's happy. And then my final tip and or why these things are good to have is that if you're a single person traveling by yourself, this is a great icebreaker, whether it's to meet a um, a romantic interest or even just to strike up a conversation with a friendly looking person without looking like a lunatic you can offer to share your strip outlet and it's kind of it's a, just a great way to break the ice it's definitely a conversation starter and you never know who you get to share your power supply with it could lead to a lifelong romance or at least a really good friendship so anyway that was just a quick travel tip um, it's really not beauty related at all but um, it's just something that I feel like I cannot leave the house on a trip without my power supply. So I hope that um, that was helpful to you and I would love to hear some of your travel tips.